Hello everyone, in this video, we will be discussing about a very useful visualization tool, PyChart. We will start by creating a simple pie chart and then modify it step by step. So by the end of this video, you will learn how to create a super cool pie chart. Before moving forward, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel and turn on bell notification to stay updated each time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a like for this video as it will be helpful for the algorithm. Stay tuned. So first let's import the required libraries. So here we are importing panda so basic data operations matplotlib to plot the pie chart and then we are loading the iris data set as we are going to plot the pie chart using the iris data. Now let's load the data. Now to see more details about the data set we can use a describe function. As we can see, this gives us the different instances, the attributes and the different classes in the dataset. Now let's go ahead and put this in a pandas data frame. So here we are loading the data. Then we are setting the column names. Finally, we are setting the different classes and then let's use a head function to see the data. Okay, so now we have the data, we will be plotting a pie chart using the species column. So the iris data set has three different species with 50 instances each. Let's use this data to plot a simple pie chart. Now we have a simple pie chart. This is one way of plotting a pie chart. Now let's look at another method of plotting a pie chart. So in this method, the pies are automatically labeled with each class label and the class name is also indicated. Now if we want to add percentages of the pies into the chart, we can modify the code as follows. So the decimal points displayed here can be controlled by changing the float values. So if I put point 0.2, we will have two decimal points. Next, let's add a custom label to each pies. And then let's add these class labels to our plot. As we can see, the class labels are also being displayed in the plot, but there is a small problem. One of the classes is interfering with the class labels. So let's do one thing. Let's change the start angle of the pie chart. So by default, this start angle is always set as 0 degrees. Let's change it to 45 degrees. See, now that looks better. How about we increase the size of the pie chart? So we can do this by setting the figure size. Better. How about we change the colors next? 
So let's set colors for each of the pie. So I'm setting custom colors here. Now let's add this to the plot command. As we can see, now we have changed the colors of the different pies. Let's now proceed to explore the different pies. When you're exploring the pies, you need to specify which pie you need to explore and the value for the other pies must be set to zero. Okay, let me show you. Now this is in case you want to explore any one class. We can also explore all the classes at once. So here I am exploring all the different pies. So the plot is starting to look better. Let's add a shadow to the plot. To do this we can just set the shadow as true. We can also highlight the edges by setting the wedge property. So here we are setting the line width and the edge color and now let's add this to the plot. Next let's add a legend to the plot. You can also add a heading for a legend. Finally let's add a title to our plot. Now if you want, you can also change the text size, the position and the color of the title text. So let's align the text to the left and make it blue color with a larger font. I'll align it back to the center and make the title font bold with black color. You can also change the text properties of the pies using the text property option. Say we want the font to be in italics with a heavy font weight. So let's define the text properties. And let's add it to the plot. See, now that totally levels up the game. Hope you gained an idea on creating and modifying pie charts using Python. Make sure to follow me on my social media channels to stay updated each time I upload a new video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.